Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have my monthly favorites for you today for the month of May. Uh, I know I'm a little bit late but not too late and I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of like singing in the background. I have the TV on for my baby that's right here on the couch watching TV so I'm sorry if you hear it. I have it turned down like really low but not so low that he can't hear it but hopefully you can't hear it. But I only have a few things for my monthly favorites but I thought I'd get on here and show them to you. Um, I'm definitely not dressed up at all today. Um, I've just kind of been around the house and not really been doing much. I went and had lunch with my sister and my mom. Uh, and I may be going swimming at my sister's house um, here in a few minutes. So definitely a very dressed down day. But I still thought I would make a video and show you just some of the things that's really stood out um, the past month. And um, actually probably more like some of them is like the past two months because I haven't made a monthly favorites in forever. I like really haven't made one in forever. <laughs> Uh, the first thing I've been loving is the NYX Born to Glow Illuminator, uh, Illuminating, Illuminating Primer. I really like this, and I even wear this sometimes on, um, days, like, when I don't want to wear any foundation. I'll just put this on just to kind of give my skin, like, a glowy look, and I've just really been liking this. Hi there, sweetie. Are you talking to mommy? Are you watching mommy film? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really like this. Um, it smells and like feels like Elmer's glue that you would use when you're like little making arts and crafts, but I still really like it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the next two things are also uh, from the NYX Born to Glow uh, line and it's the Liquid Illuminator and these are just like highlights and this is what they look like. And I have uh, this one is Sunbeam and this one is Gleam and I really like them um, to uh, put when I'm not wearing like powder and stuff just like the liquid um, almost kind of like no makeup makeup just kind of my skin but better on some days I'll even just put this alone um, by itself without any um, foundation or anything on my face I'll just put this all over and then I will kind of powder it down when I do that so that I don't look too shiny but I kind of like the effect it gives uh, alright, might as well stick with the NYX. Uh, this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Everyone has seen this or heard this talked about. And I had been wanting it for a long time and just had never, never gotten it. Anytime I looked at the store where, um, I get my NYX stuff, they were always sold out. So, uh, yeah, I finally got it and I'm really, really enjoying this. Especially for, like, summer, like, having the under waterline uh, in white. I've really been enjoying that. Uh, let's see. Uh, the next thing is the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt Mascara by L'Oreal. And this is what it looks like. And it has a... Um, what? <laughs> um, it has a really funky wand but you use this flat end on this right here and you kind of press that up against let me get myself in focus here you kind of press that up against your uh, water line and it tight lines for you and it actually works really well oh it's okay come on mommy get it mommy get it here you go But anyway, yeah, I really have been enjoying this for a cheap drug drugstore mascara. Uh, okay. Uh, the next two things I have are Becca products. And this is the Becca Highlight in Pearl. Uh, I also have it in Rose Gold and in um, Moon, Moonstone, I think is what it's called. But this one really just shows up better on me. Um, because I'm just so pale and so I really like this one now rose gold I like as a blush topper I don't use that as a highlight because it's way too dark but I do like that over my blush but as far as a highlight this one is my favorite and um, I really like it I'm glad I got it uh, and the next is a Becca blush and this is in Nightingale and it is super dark and super pigmented uh, I literally like just take 
I literally just like tap my brush in it barely shake it off and then like dab onto my cheeks like both cheeks with just that little bit because it is so so dark and pigmented but I just love the color once I sheer it out a little bit it's like perfect I love it What you doing? I see you. Uh huh. I see you. What? Want me to zoom in on you so they can see you? Get in here. Well, now you're fashioned. Hey, what's he fashion about? What's he fashion? You want mommy to get you? I just want mommy to get you. Oh, you taking the pillow? What are you taking the pillow for? Yeah, I'm fussing with it. Uh, uh, Ooh, fussing. Are you fussing? Uh, uh, you good at fussing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you want that pillow? Uh, you want this pillow? Take the pillow. Uh, uh, I had to get Mr. Gage here because. He gets upset when his mama tries to film and turn his TV down. Yeah, I said I get upset when mommy ignores me and tries to film a video. That's I do. I get jealous. I get jealous. Yeah, you do. You get jealous. You wanna sit here next to mommy? Sit down. Yeah, sit right there. Here, you can play with this. Here you go, play with that. Now he's sitting next to me playing with mascara. So now I'm sitting with mommy. Okay, so the next thing I've been loving, which is limited edition. I don't know if you can still get this. I haven't had it very long, so you may still be able to get it online. Or I haven't noticed it in Sephora, but it still may be there. I don't know. But this is the Gwen Stefani blush palette. And it's dirty but this is what it looks like I think it's absolutely gorgeous um, my favorite color is easy and that's this color here I absolutely love this and then this lo-fi actually makes a good bronzer and then this here um, is OC and it is like a perfect just everyday blush and I actually use these two for uh, highlights well, I use this one, which is Angel. I use this for highlight, and then Hush, I will use as like a blush top topper, or just like on the apples of my cheeks with a darker color here. And then this pink color, Cherry, is perfect for the apples of the cheeks with a darker color. I like these two together, actually. But yeah, these are just gorgeous. They're like so pigmented and pretty, and I'm really glad I got this. So if you can get your hands on this still, you need to do it if you are a blush fan, because I love this. Uh, the next two things I have are from, well, they're kind of the same thing, sort of. But these are the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I, um, I had one, I think I'm out of focus. There. I had one Makeup Geek eyeshadow. It was, um, Flamethrower. So, if you look in here, you will see two. These are the foiled eyeshadows. And that was the color that kind of stood out to me that I thought I wanted to try. And I wanted to try one before I uh, splurged and got the entire set. Um, and I loved it. So, I did end up getting the entire set of foiled eyeshadows. And this is what they look like. You've probably seen them before. Now, this one is not a foiled eyeshadow. This is a NYX. And this is a... Um, a eyeshadow that came out of a Wet n Wild palette. It was the only eyeshadow I liked in that palette, so I stuck it in here. And this NYX one is, um, it's really pretty and very pigmented, and it is called, you know what, I forget what it's called. I think it's something about a mermaid. I'm not 100% positive. You can't have that. I'm just trying to steal my stuff. But yeah, I think I spent 162. That does not include the Z palette. It's just the shadows, but they are gorgeous. I love them. And uh, perfect for summer to have like a shimmery pretty eye. And yeah, totally worth the money if you're into eyeshadow. And then I have another palette of uh, Makeup Geek shadows. And these are just some matte shadows that I've been collecting. And um, I just have some of the um, some of the popular ones you hear about. This is Cocoa Bear, Cream Brulee, uh, Chickadee, um, Peach Smoothie. Uh, this is Wisteria. This is Cupcake. This is Poppy, which I love, and I'm not sure what this one's called. I will check it out. I can get it out of here. Oh, Sorbet. 
So these are perfect matte shadows, some really good transition colors and crease colors. Um, basically with these you can take any shimmery eyeshadow and make a look out of it, I feel, because I have, um, you know, the neutrals, the more orangey, and then like the more pinky color. I love it. Uh, and the last two are lip colors or lip products. Uh, this is the Kat Von D Everlasting, I think it's the Everlasting Lipsticks. Yeah, in uh, Melancholia, I think is how you pronounce this. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But it is gorgeous. And if you haven't, my baby's falling. Hold on. <laughs> sit up here. Oh, God, sit up here. There you go. Um, if you haven't tried these and you like uh, liquid lipsticks or matte finishes, uh, these are fantastic. I have a few of them. And this is just such a pretty, like, cool toned, pale baby pink. This is what it looks like. And I just love it. It's perfect for summer, and I have been using this quite a bit. Um, and yeah, it's just, I love it. I think it's beautiful. And the last thing is actually what I have on my lips now. Not that you can see much, but it's just a lip gloss. And it's from Bop Beauty. And it is in the color Opal. And it's just a really pretty gloss. It's got like some blue tones in it. And like some purples and pinks. You can see all those different colors kind of blended together in there. And it's just really pretty. And I, I like it really well for, um... I'm talking and I'm out of focus that I like it really well just on its own but it would also be pretty over top of something but um, yeah it's just really pretty and it kind of makes your teeth look white because you have um, that blue tone in it and it I don't know it's just really flattering I think so at least on me I think it is but yeah so that is my favorites for this month some of the standout products that I've really been enjoying I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's just kind of a little bit sloppy. I'm just sitting in my living room and of course my baby usually takes some of the attention but say that's okay. Say mommy's used to that, aren't you? Can I have that? Can I have that? You want to say hi to other people? You want to say hi? No, I took away his toy so now he's he's wondering, oh, dear, there he is. That's his pretty face. Of course he's my favorite every month, aren't you? Say every month you're mommy's favorite. But yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys. Please comment, uh, like, subscribe, all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah, tell them. Say subscribe. Subscribe and you'll see more of this little dude. Yeah. Yeah, say subscribe and you're going to see me. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, that's it. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.